this to that. Mm -hmm. I'm a real life in diesel, innit? What can I say? It's all about having a nice car, showing off, showing off people what they can have too if they work hard at it. Right, we got a million pounds for cars and we're still living at home. <laughs> well, you're stuck here for the rest of your life. <laughs> What's on the menu, Ma? Well, I want him to leave home now. The cars are like a mistress to him. My brothers be like, oh, yeah, let me drop you and be like a Bentley or something like that. I'd be like, no. I said, I'd rather walk in the rain. I'm doing this because you don't have a wife. He always says that Sunday's was spent at home. Yeah, have the chicken. Just the chicken part. Is it okay? Mm. It's really nice, Papa. Yeah, yeah really nice. People come to me, it means that they've got a few quid to spare. You want to stand out from everyone else. Yeah, show and slash your cash as well. It's all about being exclusive. It's like customising watches or having your initials on your cufflinks. Get paid. <laughs> <laughs> Get laid. <laughs> so. Well, you... Come on, boys, have a look at this. This is what 2.3 million looks like on wheels. For Gumby. So up. Um... Yeah, it's just the words for this yeah. car. Nice see you, brother. Yeah. I was keep telling you, you know, you got so many your own cars, get the money, put a deposit, buy a house, okay? I mean, I mean, I, I was 23 when I bought my first house. At his age, yeah, I have four kids. Life. I had no life. I sacrificed my life for you children. Yes. You Children's. 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 Yeah. I could enjoy my life. I have another woman, wife, and got something, you know? Two wives. It's not allowed in this country, pups. Yeah. No, you can have now. <laughs> you just had one and keep three other girlfriends. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just joking, but you know, you can't even control one wife. You find somebody and you get married, and then you have a hanky panky, you know. Hello, how are you doing, partner? You good? I'm not really sure how many um, cars Cash has. He's got the four that I do now know of, but there is other ones that he's had in the past, which I thought they were out of the picture. ZX, we've got the 33, we've got the Audi, 35, the Bentley. Oh, and then there's the Countach. Oh, yeah, let me get a Countach. The cars are like a mistress to him because for me, it's like they are always there. They're always interfering in our life. Cash would rather have a car than a house. Me and you can live in the Bentley. Look how spacious it is. And look, the children can stay in the G-Wagon. What we have to do is move the back seats and turn it into a playroom and we can make little bunk beds in there for them. Now it's a house. I don't care what happens. I will sell every single car that we have if that means I'm going to get a house. She the boss. Oh, this car's got to get ready today. It ain't getting no. fucking ready, is it? It's got to be ready today. I promised the fucking car back to him tomorrow, Paul. No, I'm promising. Hey, what do you mean? What do you mean I'm promising? So I've decided this year I want to find myself a wife, settle down, get married. Everyone's always, I wouldn't say pestering because they're, they're looking out for my best interest. But yeah, they, they, they do kind of put a bit of pressure down and say, find somebody, settle down. So on Saturday, it's pretty interesting. My parents have arranged for me to meet another family who are also looking for a husband for their daughter. How do I look? Nice, nice, very nice. <laughs> Hi, assalamu alaikum. I'm good, alhamdulillah, how are you? I knew she was nervous, she didn't know if she wanted to do it or not, but I was like, you can do it. I'm proud of her, I am. She'll do good. 
I want to know, why do you wear hijab? For me, I think it's definitely a sense of empowerment. I feel a lot more mature. I feel like I'm more responsible. So once you put this on, then you have to behaviour changes in public. So obviously, look how I behave when I'm at home with you and stuff. Like we're we're cool, chilled out, a lot more relaxed and stuff. And then see how I switch it up when I have when I have to put my scarf. But then it's like you have two lives then, one at home, one outside. No, I'm still the same person, mm -hmm. but it's because... If you went to work, there's a work you mm -hmm. and there's a friend you. Yeah. The downside is that the people that obviously don't wear it or might not be Muslim, they expect you to be a specific way, so if you don't behave in that certain way... They like, judge well, you kind yeah, of thing. So yeah. you're very easily judged. Doing all of that and all of that and all of that, you know, it's just like it's all new to me. <laughs> Obviously, she's getting older, you know, so she's like posing and stuff. But seeing her do it in that, it does make me a bit, a bit shy because I'm, that, you know, I've never seen her that way. She's, to me, she's my little baby. Um, obviously, I've spent time with her a couple of times. I've seen um, met her at her house. She's come around, so... So, things like her hair. I know my sisters have seen it, and I've asked her, oh, what's it like? She described it to me. You could be the prettiest person in the world, but if you don't have you know, the right characteristics, then it's never gonna, you're never really going to be pretty. Attraction to me is important, as is a person's heart and soul. You know, eventually in life, especially when you're Asian, it's just... You're accustomed to it. You know that you, uh, at some stage you're going to get married. He's not going in it forced or anything. He's met the girl. They both really like each other. Um, they've met on a few occasions, got to know each other, and know exactly what, what they're about. But you only really get to know someone once you uh, get married, right? God bless you. Do you say to me? Allah to my life will be happy and I'm nervous because his whole life, I pray for him, is good and comfortable. You care too much and yeah. you don't let your children... Yeah, I got you know, lesson now. ...leave the nest. And you have to let them leave the nest. Even though we're yeah. at home, you have to let her yes. be a wife. I just want, always, always wanted to make my parents happy. Yeah. I, I, I need like, all the pray prayers I can get. We engaged with this girl. Yeah. And uh, what you think about her? Yeah, she's nice. So, I like her. I'm just a bit nervous, you know. I'm not, I'm not that far behind you. You were only about two decades. Two decades? You're 20 years behind than me. I was 21 when I got married. When I was your age, 35, I had three kids. Did you plan the kids or was it? Don't worry. If, I, if I'm Don't nervous, worry. I'll give you the call. Yeah, you should be. I'll, I'll, I'll help, help, me. <laughs> help me. What do I do? See, look, my son is so poor, and I look. Can't you find another decent jean? Do you know these are designer, man? And you're wearing this in my house. If somebody comes from Pakistan, they go, oh, all this picture, all this thing is just a fool. Then you're a dear beggar, you are, eh? Are you all ready? I'm sorry, I'm not ready. You're getting married? Oh, yeah. Everything's set? Yeah, more what or less. What are you smiling for? More or less. Is your room clean? No dirty boxers, shoes <laughs> lying about, socks, PlayStation. Is your, <laughs> is your bed sheets clean? You're not excited. It's not, of course I'm excited. This marriage is a huge thing. But of course, like... OK, talk and clean at the same time, please. You're having a laugh. You're taking the piss out of me. <laughs> Just please. I'll do it myself. Yeah. We're just living our dream. When the boys get together, get the toys out, sun's blazing, you know, much better than getting into, into town and having a blast, you know? 
It's just the sound and everything, you know what I mean? Listen to that. <laughs> what can I say? Obviously, we rev the cars. It's part showing off, but at the same time, it's to get the crowd, make it aware that we're here. They love it. They actually love it because this sort of stuff they'll only ever see on TV, but we give it to them in real life. You know, so it's a buzz. It's all about having a nice car, showing off, showing off people what they can have too if they work hard at it. I like the car that um, was a, like a man's car, and I mean, man, like a really fast car. But I wanted them to know it was a girl behind the wheel, so that's why I wanted to make it very prominent that it was a girl who drive and girls can like cars. Um, I get a lot of people approaching me. Um, I, get, I get asked out on dates, but at the end of the day, I don't want I don't want someone liking me for what I'm driving, and that's what they're seeing. Harry, my, my man. You know what? You had a good day today. Good? Enjoy Great it. Turnout. Yeah, boy. But you oh, know what? Thanks for I'm coming. I'm tired bro. of this now today. Enough of the pretty boy shit. Let's hit the town. Pretty boy. I'll hit the track, should I say? You're always going to be a pretty oh, yeah. boy with that bar on it, mate. <laughs> hey? Hey? <laughs> I've got a secret weapon. I challenge you. Are we talking about logbooks or are we talking about? I'll go. I'll go for logbooks. I'm not disclosing the car. I need to know obviously what my competition is. I'm not going to jump in the ring with Mike Tyson, am I? Oh. It's going to become real. Oh wow! Is that confirmation? When my triceps try out, bro. Wow. That's confirmation. Oh, OK. Mine's, mine's in the making. <laughs> like it's good, awesome. but I can drive. Let's go. How many times must I go and tell the I'm going to set it up. What now. are we racing? That's the thing, we don't know. You're actually going to race him, yeah? 100% we're racing. Yeah, I'm not worried. A lot of I don't care. Have you told your dad yet? No, I haven't told anyone. Nobody knows. It's going to be so quiet. So Cash calls me and he asks me to keep this Sunday free because you're getting married. Paul? Yeah? Now, Just, come and have a look at this, please. What can we do with this, man? Josh. Oh, my God, how did that happen? <laughs> no, he's fucking reversed into him. Ran out here, a truck. It's so fucking annoying, man. It's my little Bentley. Your own car, man. My baby. It's only it's a car. Paul, listen, you know that this car reflects my personality, yeah? I'm cash cream. Do you get what I'm saying? It's a fucking quality street. <laughs> well, I'm fucking quality, and I'm not, what are you laughing at? 